Hello traders, welcome back. How are we? I'm going to show you how I took 160 pips out of the market yesterday and it was just simple and logical price action. All right. And if you stay to the end of the vid, guys, I'm going to explain exactly how I did it. And I'm going to give you all of my trade ideas for today as well. So let's get started. So the trade is this, guys. It was pound New Zealand dollar sells. If you remember yesterday's vid, we were looking at New Zealand dollar strength coming into the market. Um, this was my entry. This was my stop loss. And this was my first TP. All right. And this is where I took profit and left 20% to run. All right. So this trade um, and all my trade signals are all put in the VIP Trading Academy. Go check it out. Let's remove this and then let's understand the trade. So as I said, guys, I'm just going to explain it using simple price action, right? Now, if we look at pound New Zealand dollar, we're clearly in this, well, we were clearly in this, you know, super bullish uptrend. At this point, we are very, very, very overbought. Right, you can bring up the RSI that will show you that we're overbought, but you can just see how far away we are from the moving average 20. Right, that indicates overbought as well. Right, at that point, we had a big bearish candle. This candle is more bearish than the last one, two, three, four, five, probably as bearish as that. So it's more bearish than the last five candles. Sellers have come storming into the market, right? Um, so that was the day chart. And we've got room to move into. If I, if I zoom out, the next piece of logical support was this level here, okay? And that's why this blue line was my target. I think potentially this still has more room down to the moving average 20, okay? Um, so that was the day chart, all right? Very simple, logical stuff. If we go down to the H4 now, um, you will also see on this uptrend, right, we never drop below the moving average 20, right? It literally hugs the moving average 20 all the way up. And we never break H4 structure, okay, because it was super bullish. Now, when those two things happen, right, price falls below the moving average 20, okay, and we get this break of structure here, right, if we just follow H4 structure, we're in this uptrend, and then bang, we break. So at that point, we get a structure break, and we're below the moving average 20, right, logically, that tells us sellers are coming in with force as well, and you can just see it, guys, right? So, like I say, just price action. That's all you need to know to make profit out of the market. Um, and then once we get the break, right, we love this retest. This retest and then price came down. I wasn't actually awake when we got this wick rejection at this level. So all I did, once this candle finished, I waited for price to just retrace a little bit. I got in at 21760, like literally here, put my stop above this high and the moving average 20, put my stop up here, took price back down to the bottom of this wick because that could have been potential um, support and price moved back up. I closed 80% at this level. And then I let the remaining 20% run down to this 21600 psychological level where I closed the remaining 20% of the trade. Right. And from my original entry at 21760 all the way down to 21600, right, you can see that was 160 pips taken out of the market. And like I said, guys, just simple price action, right? Um, I, I would like to know what you think, guys, about this trade. Yeah, so please, you know, did you understand and how simple and logical it was? Would you have traded it different? Let me know your thoughts on this pound New Zealand trade. But that's price action. That's how I trade, guys. If you would like to know more, um, come join us. 
So that was the trade from yesterday. We're now going to look at all of my trade ideas for today. Um, and we're going to start with more against trend trades, right? I never thought I would say this two days on the bounce, but I am. Okay, so the first trade is this pound Aussie dollar, right? Again, like pound New Zealand dollar yesterday, this is crazy overbought, right? And look at that wick rejection, right? That is telling you that sellers, it's come up to this big psychological level and sellers have just absolutely, you know, stormed the market again, similar to pound New Zealand dollar, right? So we're overbought, we're getting sellers enter the market. Okay, and my target is just the next piece of support. So this 9580. If we drop down to the H4, it's not as nice as the pound New Zealand dollar, right? The pound New Zealand dollar broke down on the H4. It was below the moving average 20. But you can see on this H4 chart that it isn't, right? So we have a couple of options here, right? And, you know, we're still in a H4 uptrend here right we are it's a bit scruffy bang you know but we're still in a h4 uptrend and we're at the moving average 20. so what do i need to see i need to see a break of this low so let's say price comes up here a little bit more right and then we get a candle that comes down right and breaks this level a candle that looks something like this at this point on the h4 this confirms the downtrend, right? Because at this point, we will get lower lows, right? And we would get lower highs. And that would be a H4 downtrend. And at that point, we would be below this moving average 20 that's coming round. So basically, guys, I need to see a break of these lows, right? If we get that, we can then sell from here down to here. And you're probably thinking that's not a lot of room. Yeah, but you've still got a good, you know, 40 pips to take out of the market there. All right. So pound Aussie dollar, that is my first trade idea for today. Um, my next trade idea, before I show you my next trade idea, guys, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that notification button and smash the like button. We would love to have you. Also, guys, um, if you would like to speak to like-minded traders, chit-chat, share ideas, share trades, then please come join our uh, free Discord channel. If you would like more than that and you would like access to my trade signals, access to my tutorials and strategies, and access to me, then please come join our VIP Trading Academy. Um, and also, guys, if you sign up with one of our preferred brokers, you can get discounts and access to these things for free. Um, right, so that's pound Aussie dollar. I am also looking at euro Aussie dollar exactly the same scenario on the h4 but let's start with the day chart now this is bouncing off a really nice weekly level here right look at that bounce off okay so again and at a really big psychological level yeah it is six seven thousand again right super duper overbought right this really overbought and then we get this massive wick rejection, right? Sellers have stormed the castle, right? So the idea is to potentially take price back down to the next area of support, right? Which is this level here, okay? Maybe the moving average 20 catches up. This could be a good area, all right? So that's our target, our higher time frame target. Um, so we're looking to sell. Again, it is against trend, right? If we look at the H4, we have exactly the same scenario as we do with pound Aussie dollar. It is, it's still, right, in a H4 uptrend. All right, this is where we find ourselves, itchy nose. Okay, and we're at the moving average 20. So what I need to see is a H4 breakdown. Okay, and how would that look? It would look like this, maybe price comes up to here, and then it breaks this low. At this point, we get lower highs, lower 
lows. Okay, and then we can start selling in here, back down to this level here. All right, so Euro Aussie dollar sells. I have more trade ideas, guys. The last one is New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Right, um, we spoke about this in yesterday's and uh, yesterday's vid, and this was one of the trade ideas. And I still think it has room to move into. Okay, so let's first of all look at the level it was at. Right, we're clearly in a downtrend still. Right, we're in a downtrend, no dispute in that. But this area is totally oversold. Okay, and we're at this real important level of support as well. Right. Um, we've had bullish candle, very bullish candle, right? The US dollar got a little bit of weakness off the back of the FMOC and the interest rate, although the interest rate was as expected, right? Um, but we've got this weakness, and I still think New Zealand US dollar has some room to move into back up to this psychological level before the moving average 20 catches up with us, okay? Um so that's the trade idea. If we look at the H4, so remember guys, the daily gives me my direction and then the H4 and H1, I'm looking for levels I can buy from. Now this level through here is more of a H1 level, right? So let me start on the H1, let me show you that. But you can see price in here, guys. We've had a couple of reactions here and we've had a couple of reactions here. So if price comes back into this gray zone, Right, we get a nice uh, bullish reaction. We can start buying New Zealand US dollar from this level here. Okay, now if we go back to the H4, you can still see that level there, right? Um, but ideally, I want to retrace, and it might be this level, right? It might be a little bit deeper than this, but I want to retrace back towards the moving average 20, right? Because I don't want to start buying up here, right? There's no value in it, yeah? But if, yeah, so no point me buying the market up here. Even if it flies off, right? No problem. I've missed the trade. But what I want to see is a retrace back to the moving average 20. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's a bit deeper. And then once I get that, I know I'm getting value for money, right? This is a better price to enter than here and enter. All right, so retrace New Zealand US dollar, then we're going to start buying that as well. All right, guys. So, yeah, um, that's my uh, trade ideas uh, for today. Um, hope you've enjoyed the vid. If you have, please subscribe, like and share. Have a great trading day and I'll see you later for the live stream. 8 a.m. New York EST. See you later, guys.